Okay, so this is 714 F Street, and we are just about four houses in from Pyramid Way, which is a major thoroughfare um, that does connect to I-80. Um, but you are a few houses off of it. We've got really nice um, hedges here growing along the fence line. Um, and this is a little bit of the street scene. Aside from the police sirens that are going on right this moment, you just hear a little bit of the traffic down that way. But super accessible, right in the center of town. Let's go in and have a look. So everything looks to be in pretty con good condition. The roof was new and structurally reinforced in 2014. It is two bedrooms, one bath. Um, it's got 740 square feet of living space. A lot of attention to detail on this house. It was built in 1900, so it's 121 years old here. Really nice front porch. That is the neighbor's uh, driveway right here. Um, they face the adjacent street over there. Cool mailbox, looks like we have a ring doorbell here and a fun little rooster door knocker fun stuff all right so coming in the front entrance here looks like a wood burning stove looks like it's hooked up to gas so it's just a gas um insert here a little additional heating in your living space really cool texture on the walls and again, attention to detail carries on. And through here, we've got a nice ceiling fan. And this house does have a central furnace, but as you can see here in the window, this is a, what's called a swamp cooler, an evaporative cooler. Um, very efficient. Um, doesn't take as much of utility bills in a dry climate like we have here in Northern Nevada. It works pretty well. So you get your front entry and living space and then Jumping right over to here, this is the first bedroom. You can see it's set up as kind of a home office here. I do have the wide angle on this just to give you a sense of the space. This is normal. So that's back into the living room here. And then this is the second bedroom. So you, you kind of have to travel. The bedrooms are connected. And so you got some paneling in here, more detail on the ceiling. But this is the second bedroom. And you can see the closet here is in the far corner. Goes back a little ways there. Lots of shelving. And then pulling back out here from the corner. So this gives you a sense of the second bedroom here. You can close the door in between the rooms and you can access this second bedroom from the kitchen. So I'll just go back to the living room. You can kind of get a sense of the flow. It's very circular pattern here but there's no wasted space in this house in terms of like hallways and things like that so as we the flooring in here in the living room seems to be some sort of a laminate flooring that's uh, mimicking wood but as we travel into the kitchen you can see we've got some parquet flooring this seems to be really well done very efficient use of space um not certain if this island is attached, so I'm not sure if that's something that would stay with the property, um, but it's certainly a really great use of this kitchen space here, which is actually fairly spacious for the for the home. A very spacious kitchen. Um, got electric stove, refrigerator, some custom cabinets in here. And again, this might. This might be personal property, so it may not convey with the house. 
certainly something that could be written into the contract. Got a hanging light fixture here. No real dining room in this house. Um, got the sink area, no dishwasher either. Always good to point these things out. And then we've got a little pantry slash laundry area back here. It's a very simple, efficient home. And then here's the, the sole bathroom of the house. So just got the one bathroom, make the most of it. It does seem really cool though, neat tub detail on that vanity all right I'm moving right along this is the the back porch area it's enclosed it's like just a little storage cabinet and we've got that's the uh, sewer vent pipe for the kitchen sink there and coming out to the backyard if I can Figure out how to open this door. There we go. So, we're outside now. Here's the porch. It looks like it's made of, well, it's actually just stained wood. So this is kind of the back portion of the house. Looks like there may have been a window here that they covered up. Another vent pipe, probably for the bathroom there, or the laundry. And come out to this little paver area. Nice little Japanese maple here. And this is the neighbor's shed there, it appears. And then this is the shed that does come with the property. You got a little step up to a deck here. Nice little garden bed here. It does have a, um, a drip system. Got an interesting little uh, storage spot there. So we're going up on the side of the house here. This is the swamp cooler from the outside. So that's looking into the living room. And there's this cool little gate here. And then here's that shed. Get her open. All right. Yeah, you get some gear in here. It's got everything labeled that's not going to stay. That's kind of cool. So maybe that stuff in the kitchen will stay with the house. Lots of shelves above, too. It's insulated. All right, and this is... So this is doubles as your, like, parking area. So you could open that gate and park a vehicle here if you'd like. Um, not probably a full size truck or anything, but you could probably fit a smaller vehicle. You can kind of get a sense of the space. There's a CRV here in the neighbor's driveway and a nice little puppy. Hey buddy. All right. I'll lock this back up. What's your name? Oh, he's cute. Looks like a nice pup. All right. Moving right along. So, and this one is listed at 325. I didn't mention that before. Um, they're reviewing offers May 9th. So, she's already gotten some offers on this one. I'm guessing it's going to go over the asking price because it's so darn cute. But yeah, I mean, not a huge yard, but it's very clean, very functional. I have a little alfresco dining out here if you wanted we got gas service here which is great for um your furnace and I didn't see the water heater so i'll have to verify what the uh what's powering that water heater there but yeah hopefully this is helpful there's the electric panel and there's a little outdoor outlet there. And then that's a little access hatch to the crawl space. So no basement in this one. 
All right, let me know if you have any questions.